Um, M Kiki. They're called haptic coins. I love them. I've got two. Honestly, it's blowing my mind. I wanted to uh, film, but I have to put a shirt on first. One sec. I don't want you to see me like that. If this was a movie. Okay, so I've got a few things, actually. One of them was last week's vlog was the first vlog I've done in a hot minute where I forgot footage. Has it actually been that long? I don't, I don't remember. But the point is, I forgot footage, which really sucked. The vlog was really short, and I forgot that was the week that it snowed a lot, and I totally forgot that it, it had snowed, and I filmed everything on my phone, of course. Yeah. So I'm gonna put that in the vlog at some point. It may have already been in a vlog before this, it may be in this vlog, I really don't know. But what I do know is gonna be in this vlog is actually something very exciting. Um, M. Kiki sent me this. This is a fast charger, a 20 watt fast charger. Now I use, I believe a 12 watt, um, an old iPad charger. I believe that's what I use. So this in theory should be a large bit faster. I'm really excited for that, but also it was free and I've done a I'm Kiki review before actually, about four years ago already, they sent me um, my first leather Apple Watch band which I used for a very long time, and I really, really liked it. It was made from horse leather, um, and they're not up sending me this, and they've been a joy to work with. They've been a joy to work with, actually, because um, this is a newer style type charger. It's USB-C to whatever you have on your phone, so my case it's USB-C. I would need lightning to go into my iPhone XS because I do not have, well, no iPhone has USB-C. But you get the idea. Let's get this plastic off. Pretty typical charging brick. Nothing insane about it. It's a little wide. Um, I would rather them be tall than wide because this might actually take up more space on my power strip. Uh, so we got Mkiki branding on one side blank on the other. 20 watt, five volt, three amp output. My iPhone did not come with USB-C charging. Mine has standard full size to lightning. So I had to order uh, this, which is Anchor's new nylon USB-C to lightning cable, six feet. Now I was talking to Mkiki about this, um, but I just wanted to get my order through because what they did was give me a coupon for uh, one cent for me to get this instead of literally giving it to me for free. I bought it for one cent But I also needed to order a cable because this does not come with one uh, And I, I emailed them about it and they didn't actually get back to me until after I ordered um, After I placed my Amazon order and they offered to PayPal refund me for the price uh, of this Nice dude, they used to come in nicer packaging, but USB-C, lightning, nice braided six foot cable with a cable tie, which is nice. So throughout this vlog, I'm actually going to do a mini review of this. So I'm gonna drain the hell out of my, out of this tonight and we'll use these in tandem, see how it goes. I have a package. I'm doing it on here because I'm kind of lazy and don't want to take it off my whole setup again like I did yesterday, but I also wanted to open the package and have it on the nice camera, not on my phone. Now this is an exciting package because I've been waiting for this for a couple days now, um, about five days I think since I ordered it already. This is Umbury's new haptic coin, come on. And I don't actually know what it comes with. All right, looks like we get a big Umbury branded sticker, a little alien. Uh, so Umbury, for all everyone who doesn't know, they make this. And one other one. These are clickers. They're called haptic coins. I love them. I've got two. This is the original one. I don't personally enjoy this one uh, as much as I used to for a couple reasons. One, it's much larger. The click is a lot less crisp. And depending on how I hold it, sometimes the two halves like to separate. 
because there's no magnet in the middle. And um, that's kind of really annoying because then you can drop it and yeah. So this is a different design um, that I don't have personally. So we got a, another brown bag. This is a mid-size, so it's smaller than this blue one and larger than this mini here. And I'm very excited to show you. This is very heavy. This is made of copper nickel. Um, so copper and nickel. This is made of aluminum and this is made of titanium. So I've got three different metals here, different sizes. This one is slightly heavier than this one obviously less dense, and this one is just straight up the heaviest. Um, it is very cold after sitting in the mailbox. It's a little flatter than I thought it would be. Let me do a close up here. It's definitely flatter than I thought it would be. I expect it to be a little more three-dimensional, but I'm okay with that. All right, let's, let's try clicking. Ooh. That is very satisfying. It's very hard to click for the camera. Wow, so that, that is quite basier than the other ones I have. A slight dent on the side here. I'm actually kind of really bummed about it. Finish is pretty good. A couple little nicks here and there. So this shouldn't patina um, because of the nickel. It should be all right. We'll find out because these are made of nickel on this knife here. And they've gotten this weird sheen to them, but I think it's because of the leather I have my knife in. Um, so I actually wipe off my finger oils every time I put my knife away. Here's a size comparison. So this is the mini. This is what I've been using for two years now. This is the middle one. This is the copper nickel uh, hex. And this is the original V2 in aluminum. I want to take a look at the bearings here. So. To do that, you twist halfway. Usually you can pull it apart. This is gonna be kind of hard actually. So inside of these are six magnets, the Umbre logo, and copper nickel. On the other half is a needle roller bearing. This is how it spins. I've talked about it before um, in my other half coin videos, but how these work basically is you separate it by spinning. The magnets separate, and the click comes from the other half touching again. You can see it mostly in this original one. See how it lifts up? That's why it's so easy to separate as well. And then it going down is the click. This is obviously not the review. Um, I'll probably make its own video for the review of this, just because it is so up my alley. I wish it was a little smaller. I have to say, I do wish it was a little smaller, so it's not as heavy. But I like it. I do want to talk about the charger situation. Pretty cool. So I'll we'll see. Hey, so I wanted to take the time out of this vlog uh, to talk about this. Obviously, is a 20 watt power adapter that I unboxed earlier in this vlog. And I'm actually really excited to talk about it because it's super cool. I wanna talk about the pros and cons, specifically the cons first. So there's actually one con and one nitpick I wanna talk about. We'll do the nitpick first. The nitpick about this is white, matte black everything. I wish any company that's making power bricks, anything for technology, anything that's going to come with a lot of contact of other things, don't make it white. Please don't make it glossy, it'll scratch. White will age poorly, matte black, dark gray, something like that, please. The second thing is an actual con, and my tech people will know immediately when looking at this. It's kind of wide. I'm plugging this into a, an older power strip. This is gonna block on each side the other outlets, which is kind of a bummer, which means that if I put this in the middle of outlets, it's taking up three outlets for one power adapter. That is really annoying, but I think for most people, it's not really gonna matter. Um, a lot of people don't have older power strips like that. A lot of them are more vertical now. So when I plug it in, there's nothing on each side. But if you do have a power strip that goes from left to right still, that is going to be a little annoying for you. But let's talk about everything good about this little Mkiki 20 watt adapter. I love this thing. I haven't used it a whole lot because I have a, a very good charging setup currently. Uh, I wirelessly charge my phone at night because of my Pataka mount sticks right on the magnets. I don't really use corded charging very often. However, 
this is the ultimate on the go setup the 20 watt adapter and of course my anchor uh, USB C to lightning cable. So, USB C to lightning one opens up a lot of doors in terms of fast charging, um, which I believe it actually only fast charges the iPhones at 18 watts. But 20 watts, you know, when we're allowed to do that on iPhone, our overlord app will let us. This is gonna be a good break. There's some insane speeds going on with this. So, I took my normal adapter, which I believe is a 12 watt, it's the old iPad adapters, the thick boys. I used those with an anchor USB-A to lightning cable. Here are the speeds I got for that. I took 15 minutes in the morning. I wanted to charge 10%, but I ended up not doing it because I was so tired. In 13 minutes, I charged 5% with that adapter. That is the older Apple adapter. Obviously, it's not meant for fast charging. That's just how fast my phone charges on that. I think, honestly, my phone charges faster wirelessly than on that adapter. But yeah, 5% from 10% to 15% in 13 minutes was extraordinarily long. So then the other day I was brushing my teeth in the morning and I decided my phone was low, it was at 10%, I might as well throw it on the 20 watt fast charger and see what happens. I was blown away. In 10 and a half minutes, I got 20% battery. That means I went from 10% to 30% battery life on my phone in the matter of 10 and a half minutes using this 20 watt fast charger. That is fantastic for people on the go. Obviously we're in a pandemic right now, so that use case is not necessarily applicable to most people. Or if you're someone who constantly is moving around the house and doesn't have time to sit in one place while using their phone, uh, if you use your phone for work and stuff, this is the quickest way to get charging that I've I've ever had. <laughs> Honestly, it's blowing my mind. I almost want to set it up on my desk because at times like this, when it's, what time is it? Eight in the morning. I'm actually doing pretty low on my battery life because I've been sitting on TikTok a lot recently. So I kind of want to set it up on my desk instead of using my wireless charger. That's how much I like this thing. Getting that extra juice so quickly is fantastic. So 20% in 10 and a half minutes. Charging isn't linear. So I think I could probably get 50% in a half hour. That's pretty likely. That's insane. And that alone means I recommend this product from Mkiki. They did not tell me I needed to say positive things. They just wanted me to talk about this in this video. And I'm talking about it. I really like it. I genuinely really, really like this product. I would buy it. It's only $10 and you can get two for 16. Yes. I like it. This is two for two on Mkiki products. First, it was my Apple Watch band years ago, um, and now it's this. And honestly, I hope to work with them again. They've been such a joy to work with. They reimbursed me um, for needing this cable as well. I really like it. It's one of the highest rated 20 watt fast chargers and one of the most bought 20 watt fast chargers on Amazon. It's got 3,300 ratings and five stars. I can see why. This thing is very good. Uh, anyway, that's it for this vlog. I'm gonna see you in the next little bit here. We need to talk about the week. Yeah, we're almost caught up. I'm so excited. I'll see you there. me Hey everyone, welcome to the end of this week's vlog. We're gonna talk about exactly how much work I did this week. So these are the week totals for 94 and 95. So for 94, we have 2,729 minutes. Uh, which is 45 hours and 29 minutes in total. Average week, love that. Uh, and week 95, we have 2,853 minutes, which is 47 hours and 37 minutes total. So two very good, pretty standard weeks. I'm really proud of that. Thank you for sticking around through this vlog. I know it was a little different. We talked about the new haptic coin. We talked about the new fast charger I received. and little more uh, review style this week. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I thought it was a little fun and a little different. That being said, if you do want to feel free to subscribe, obviously I do drop a vlog here every single week and we are almost caught up, which is really awesome. And uh, yeah, every single week, you know, Sunday, Monday is usually when I put a vlog out if you want to subscribe for that. You can also feel free to check out my Twitch 
Uh, I do stream there every single day at around 9 p.m. Eastern time at twitch.tv slash the Skull HQ. A lot of first person shooters, a lot of uh, Black Ops, Cold War, Apex Legends, stuff like that. Thank you for watching. Like I said, like the video if you liked it. Share the video if it was your favorite. Don't forget to share the video, subscribe for more, and I will see you next week. Take care.